Hi everyone, back here again for another video. Today I'll share with you some keyboard shortcuts on the K480 using it on the iPad. This will be short and quick and so I'll appreciate it if you can watch until the end. And give a like and comment if you find it useful. So let's get into it. First, to unlock the iPad without touching the screen or touching the home button, press twice on any part of the keyboard and this will bring up the lock screen and you can type in your password manually. To lock the screen, you can press on function and the lock icon on the top right. Again, to unlock, just press twice anywhere and then it will. you can enter your password manually. Next, press F5 or that magnifying glass to activate Spotlight Search. I like using this to display my apps so I don't need to touch on the screen or fiddle around the different folders. Alternatively, you can press on the Alt plus Space bar to activate the, same, the Spotlight Search. I love using this because it will search not only within your iPads like your files or apps, but it will also suggest websites. Hit the escape key to exit Spotlight Search. To go into App Switcher, double tap on the F4 button to show all the apps open. Or you can also hit on F1 twice, which is the alternative to the home button. Using Command H will also bring you back to the home screen. In Safari, you'll have different options to bring up the sidebar. To do this, press on Command, Shift, and L. To switch around the sidebars, you can press on Control, Command, and 1 to bring up the bookmarks page. You can then press Command, Control, and 2 to bring up the reading list. Then Command, Control, and 3 to bring up the history. To open a new page, you can press on Command and N. Now, to switch around tabs, you can either press on Alt 1 to go to the first tab, Alt 2 to go to the second tab, Alt 3 to go to the third tab. Alternatively, you can use the Control Shift tab to move back one tab behind or shift tab to move forward to the next tab. So just a side note here, I've been using my K480 since January and the battery is still full. I don't need to change the battery soon, I guess. I've made several videos on the K480, so check it out on the links below. You can use the arrow up and down keys to scroll around web pages. Press the command left or right key to go back to previous web pages. To close a window or tab, simply press command and W. This time let's go to Google Docs for some typing shortcuts. Some of these are my favorite and it has made me improve my typing and make me type a bit faster. And I don't normally type this fast, this is on 2.5 speed. So, to highlight a line, you can press on Control and Shift and arrow left or right, depending where your cursor is. Next, you can press on Control, Shift, and arrow down to automatically highlight the line and at the same time, move it down to the next line. Then, Control, Shift, arrow up will move the highlighted line up to the next line. Then the usual options like Command X to cut and Command V to paste. Then Command Z to undo or Command Y to redo. And Function X and Function V will also work for copy paste. For formatting options, then you can use the command B for bold, C 
command U for underline or command I for italics. Another option to delete a line is to press command and backspace. You can press and hold on the command key to see the other shortcuts. But what I noticed here is that some are not working, like the show doc option, I couldn't make it work. So let's uh, see and I'll try it on the K3AT keyboard. And now on split screen, it's easy to move around the applications by just using the keyboard without touching the screen. You can simply use the command and tab options to switch applications and type on that specific application that you chose. Lastly, you can find your emojis by clicking on that globe button or the F12 and you will see the option to change your language and choose the emoji. So that's it. Thanks for watching.